developmental dysplasia of the hip is a very tricky problem because as the word indicates it's a developmental problem previously we used to call it congenital uh, hip dysplasia or cdh and that was changed to developmental mainly to clarify this part that what is present at birth is not necessarily what you get later so the problem need not be fully evolved at birth and it may de uh, develop to a hip dysplasia even if your initial examination is normal so this is a protective mechanism so but it doesn't make uh, make us any less responsible for not screening well initially. So make sure the parents are aware that you're examining the hips when you examine, document it clearly as to what test you have done and whether it is uh, pass or not, and also document if there are any risk factors. So there are two approaches. One is we refer if there is a risk uh, factor or in some Western countries like Germany and Scandinavian countries, they screen all the newborns for hip dysplasia. So obviously uh, screening all newborns is going to be a fail proof method, but if you are using the risk factor method, we should be alert in the follow up as well, not to miss out problems. So we refer if there is a risk like breach presentation, uh, especially a female baby has a higher risk as well. Family history where a first degree relative uh, has a developmental dysplasia of the hip. Uh, abnormal clinical examination, of course, uh, Barlow's and Ortolani test where Barlow's dislocates and Ortolani reduces. It's very important that uh, we, uh, we we are clear about a clicky hip. I mean, many babies have a clicky hip after birth because the progesterone, which relaxes the mother's pelvic uh, ligaments, also relaxes the baby's own. So if it is only a click and Barlow's and Ortolani are negative, uh, you can uh, repeat it after a week when, you, when they come for the follow-up. And if it's persistent click, then you have to refer them. So uh, this is just to illustrate what Barlow's is. And as I said, uh, Barlow's, we can remember it as OR for Ortolani reduces and DD for Barlow's dislocates. So in Barlow's, you are going to adduct the hip and push back when the head of the femur will come out with a clunk. And Ortolani, you are abducting the hip and you are pushing up on the uh, ischial tuberosity region. So the uh, greater trochanter will reduce back, the head of femur will reduce back. In a well-established uh, hip dislocation, you may have a shortening of that site. You may have abnormal creases, but these are signs which appear later. And don't keep repeating this test, uh, especially we have residents and tradies and one or two of them may examine, but repeated examination will uh, affect the labrum, the acetabular uh, labrum, and uh, it's not good for the baby. It's also painful. So unfortunately, because it's one in 1000 or so, a trainee may not see that many cases, but we have to be uh, restricting the number of times we do this test.